In April 2024, the American defense manufacturer AM General discreetly delivered a prototype of its 2CT Hawkeye mobile howitzer system, MHS, to the armed forces of Ukraine. The 105mm self-propelled artillery system, still in its experimental phase, was officially confirmed in June by Mike Evans, AM General's program director. Evans provided little additional information, maintaining a veil of secrecy around the deployment. The first tangible evidence of the Hawkeye MHS being tested by Ukrainian forces emerged on Friday, September 13, when a photo was shared by the TYSKNIP community on Telegram. Although the image lacked specific time and location details, it was likely captured during spring, according to the Post's authors. Shortly after, more images apparently taken in Ukraine appeared on AM General's official website, further solidifying the system's presence on the battlefield. The 2CT Hawkeye MHS is still in its experimental stages and has yet to enter mass production. To date, only a limited number of prototypes have been built, with two handed over to the U.S. Army for evaluation. The system's development has been a protracted process, dating back to at least 2016, with some reports suggesting its inception as early as 2011. The extended timeline may indicate a lack of prior interest in the system, but its performance in Ukraine could play a decisive role in whether the Pentagon chooses to move forward with large-scale production. At its core, the 2CT Hawkeye MHS combines the mobility of the AM General Humvee with the firepower of an M20 artillery gun. Weighing 6,395 kilograms, it stands as the lightest weight, most highly maneuverable self-propelled howitzer in the world today, according to its manufacturer. However, the system operates as part of a two-vehicle setup. One vehicle carries the howitzer while another transports ammunition and two of the crew members. A key innovation is the soft recoil technology implemented to stabilize the Humvee chassis, allowing it to endure the force of the howitzer's recoil. Without this technology, the light chassis would be unable to support the artillery system during firing. The Hawkeye MHS supports 105mm ammunition, including the M1 and M1130A1 high-explosive fragmentation rounds, M913 rocket-assisted projectiles, M314 illumination rounds, and M60-M60A2 smoke screens. Its 27-caliber barrel, produced by the Mandis Group, offers a firing range of up to 11.6 kilometers with standard ammunition and 19.5 kilometers when using rocket-assisted projectiles. The system is designed for rapid engagement. In optimal conditions, the Hawkeye can fire up to 8 rounds per minute during an initial 3-minute burst before reducing its rate to 3 rounds per minute. It takes approximately 1.5 minutes to prepare the system for firing from a stationary position and 3 minutes to relocate after the last shot, minimizing its vulnerability to enemy counterfire. The deployment of the Hawkeye MHS to Ukraine represents a pivotal moment for AM General and the U.S. Department of Defense. Despite the slow progress of the project over the years, the system's performance in a high-intensity conflict like Ukraine's could influence its future. Success on the battlefield may validate the Hawkeye's concept and prompt greater interest for military buyers, while shortcomings could signal the need for further development or adjustments. As the war in Ukraine continues, the Hawkeye's ability to deliver effective fire support while maintaining mobility will be closely watched by military analysts and decision-makers alike. Whether it meets the challenges posed by modern warfare could determine its fate as a future staple of self-propelled artillery systems.